welcome to Small Family, Small Budget. We are a family of three. We have my son, my husband, and I. We are a low-income family. I work three jobs, even though one of them is kind of non-existent right now. I'm a substitute teacher, so I'm on and off because of the coronavirus. I also work a fast food job for five hours a week, opening up the store. That's my third job. I just started it. And I work at Dollar Tree part-time. My husband is a full-time at fast food as a kitchen manager. Um, so we are below the poverty line, but um, we are doing okay. Um, this video is going to show you, to recap our weekly menu, show you what we have in the house for this because it's low spend January. So we're going to try to keep our grocery budget very small, which it's already small anyways. Our budget normally is between $33 to $75 a week anyways, depending on how many hours we You'll see what food we have in the house. You'll see my shop later today when I come home and I'll show you what I get to put in the house and then so let's get to it all right everyone this is my dinner tonight it's monday night so these are pork baby back ribs that are already fully cooked i get these on sale at my local store here in town it's a buy two get three free sale I have two out. Uh, my family, well, that just fell. <laughs> my family of three will eat one of them, but I have my sister and my mom here, so I take another one out. Um, so the meal plan was ribs with green beans, mashed with mashed potatoes um, for today. But I don't have green beans. These we bought last week or the previous shopping trip and I my son don't like mashed potatoes so we're gonna do the broccoli alfredo noodles with it um which is plenty of sides with my mom and my sister here I used up all my green beans for green bean casserole for Christmas yeah so instead of buying more green beans I'm gonna use up a different vegetable that I have that was not on any of my plans. So, hi. So, um, this is this week's plan. Today is ribs, green beans, and mashed potatoes. We're subbing in Brussels sprouts instead of green beans. Tomorrow is pot pie chicken. I pick up the biscuits. Um, Wednesday is spaghetti with ground beef and garlic bread. Thursday is barbecue steak strips over rice. And Friday is chicken teriyaki. So, um, I'm going to let you know I did not inventory my seasoning cabinet, spices seasoning cabinet. I found ground ginger. I found another bag of brown sugar behind all my spices. And I found, I believe I found cooking wine, but I don't know if it's the red one. If it's or a different kind, so I'll relook at that. So I might not have to pick those. I know I don't have to pick these two up, and I might not have to pick the kitchen wine up. So fingers crossed, it's even cheaper than I thought it was. Right, Y'all, so I have a whole bottle of red that was sitting behind all the spices, and behind my flour that was in that cupboard. I don't need to buy any red. I have half half a bottle of red. This is masala. Half a bottle of masala. So I need to make chicken masala soon to get rid of that. Because I think that's what I bought that for. And I haven't made it since I bought it. Yeah. So that I have. And I didn't even know I had it. This is why we do inventory. In the one cupboard I didn't do inventory. My spices and my spices cupboard. Yeah. Okay. Hey everyone. This is... Wednesday dinner. This is Tuesday dinner. So this is chicken pot pie. 
I have not bought the biscuit yet. This is what I have in my cupboard. That's supposed to be onion powder. I grabbed the wrong one out. That's minced onion. But I do have onion powder in the cupboard. I just grabbed the wrong one out. And I'm in the freezer because I had to grab everything out of the freezer. So I got the mixed vegetables chicken from September. This is flour. Onion powder, garlic powder. And I'll probably make my chicken broth with bouillon cubes and water, which I have in the house too, to make the broth, the flowers to thicken it up. And then I'm making, I'm getting the biscuits to make, to make pot pie. So this is chicken pot pie. This is Tuesday night dinner. This is Wednesday. We have a doctor's appointment, so I needed an easy dinner. So we're just having spaghetti. And we have bread. So we're just going to do garlic bread. So technically the garlic powder goes over here too. And my oregano that's in the cupboard with butter. So I have hamburger that I bought in the week of 4th of July. Because they always have a sale. It's probably 160 something a pound. Spaghetti sauce, garlic powder, and noodles. And that's our meals. Well, two of our meals. All right. So right here is one meal, right here is another, and there's rice in between because they're for both meals. So there's the rice. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Okay, so this one is the barbecue steak strips. We have Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever, however you say it. The steak. So this is my bag of steak that was in my freezer from last March. I bought a whole bunch and then... I bagged it up for my meal size. I have minced onions, garlic powder, chili powder. Oh, I got the masala. That's supposed to be red wine. Red cooking wine. Not the masala. You know that. <laughs> the yellow mustard and ketchup all together makes my barbecue sauce for my, and we'll serve it over rice. And then this is the teriyaki chicken. So this chicken is from September, when it was probably $1.69 a pound. And I have brown sugar that I found in the cabinet. I didn't even know I had. Black pepper. The ground ginger I didn't even know I had. See, it's small, so it probably was hiding, it was hiding in the back. And then garlic. And imagine little packets of Chinese soy sauce because that's what I'm going to be using that's in my drawer. So that is Thursday night's dinner and Friday night dinner. I'll probably cook the rice Thursday night enough for both meals. So that's that. Um, so this is actually my grocery list. Is snack baggies, biscuits, my son's yogurt tubes, my son's applesauce cups because he takes medicine in the morning and that's just the easiest way to get down them. Tomato paste because we have chili in the freezer and once I freeze chili it thins out so I need it to thicken it up. Pepperoni so we can make lunchables for lunches. The cooking wine's on here but then I need to cross it out because I found it. Grapes, so we can have some veggies and uh, fruit in the house, and bread, so we can make lunches, sandwiches for lunches. So this is my grocery list, um, and that's what I'm gonna go grocery shopping later today for that. So, so this is my grocery money now. This is the grocery money I would normally have the week after Christmas. So there's twenty. $35. Now, I do not sub the week after Christmas because we'd be on Christmas break. So, this would be my normal budget for Christmas break for groceries after Christmas. This is normal budget. Now, I'm only doing $20 to $25 for um for groceries. So, I think I can do it with just $20. Alright. 
so I'm back from all these in Walmart. So these yogurts. My son eats one every day out before bed as a snack. They are $1.55 each. I freeze these. So they're kind of like an ice cream tube for him. Um, I got my biscuits. I got two of these. So the biscuits were my nine cents each. So I will um, have one for the pot pies. And then I figured I might as well get two because um, I might use one for either breakfast or... Um, something else. I don't know yet. But I figured I might as well get two. I needed baggies for breakfast and for snacks. And that was three oh six at Walmart. There's a hundred of them, so it'll last me a long time. Especially if we're washing them out anyways. Bread was seventy nine cents. I needed tomato paste because like I said, I have chili in the freezer. It thins out when it's in the freezer, so I needed chili paste to thicken it up. When we do use it, which is not this week, but I had the extra money and I'd rather get a little bit here and there to, that's how I stock up is if I'm under budget everywhere else, I might as well pick up one or two items for later. These were on sale, not a great price, one thirty nine a pound. I got 1.22 pounds, which is fine for my kids for my one kid for the week. Um, Daddy will snack on them too. I have to clean them before Daddy has snack on them. If I leave them like this, I can make sure that pretty much Daddy won't even touch them. Because they have to be pretty much cleaned off before he'll eat them. I got pepperoni. All they had was the turkey pepperoni, which is fine. I This is another reason why I need bags. Because I will put like four of these in a baggie and they'll freeze. And then I can pull them out for Lunchables. For the homemade um, pizza lunch bowls and if we do homemade pizzas. So that's another reason why I need the baggies. And then my son takes medicine. So we open one of these and put it in a container. And then he gets one scoop with his medicine to mix with. That's the easiest way to get him to have his medicine. So it doesn't... If I buy a big container, it goes bad faster. So if I do it this way, he takes it easier. And the applesauce is one thirty nine. The turkey pepperoni was two nineteen. The grapes total was one seventy. So all together was eleven fifty six at all these. And I will put the receipt on the screen in just a minute. And this was three oh six by itself. So it came to like fourteen. 14 something. I had 5.36 out of my $20 off. So I will put how much total right here for this whole thing. And then I will take put a picture of the Aldi receipt and put it on the whole screen in a minute. The only reason I'm not giving you the receipt for the bags is because I had to make a run to Walmart for my mom and my bags is on her receipt and she got like 50 plus items and I'm not going to give you her receipt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yourself up if it's only one or two dollars at a time that's how we learn that's to save and that's all I can do at a time I seriously there are weeks that I only have a dollar that I can save and that's all I put in my money um in the books um unless I do my grocery this way and I can only do it this way if I stock up on sales and stuff so you will see my journey this month and it's low spend January so I will be doing this every week. I hope you like this. Like I said before, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll see more. Thank you and have a great day.